All right, now let's look at what it's like if you were recording different sections of the song, you're doing a mix of tracking and comping, maybe picking some takes, and you want to use this new fixed item lane function. There are some things to know about that because it is quite a bit different than working with takes. So let's take a look. So first up, we're going to look in the preferences for project, track, send defaults. Under fixed item lane defaults button, we can uh, enable some settings here. I would recommend create comp areas for new recording while comping. Should be enabled by default. Keep that checked and uh, record into first available lane. We don't want layer new lanes uh, enabled and automatically remove empty lanes. We were going to keep that. Uh, that should be all we need to do for this. So let's say at bar two, we're going to record a verse and I'm just going to hit the sequence on my synth. So I'm just going to adjust the synth a little bit and record another pass. Okay, so we got enough there for uh, for doing what we want. Let's, uh, let's make a comp here. So right-click, comping, and comp into new, new empty lane, automatically creating comp areas. So it's created a comp area uh, based on the full length of the, the last item. Yeah, but actually let's use this one instead. And we can trim this size to exactly that, uh, that four bar section. Right, so we're done comping. And you would think that just double clicking to turn off comping, and you're good to go to record the next section. But this is where I keep going wrong with it. I keep misunderstanding how things work. And, um, and so I'll show you what would happen if we jump over to, like, let's say, bar nine. And we record again a couple more takes. So here we go. Okay. And now, if you pay attention to which things are playing now, because I just recorded again on lane one, my active lane for fixed item lanes has switched over to lane one. So if I was playing back from here, that's take one, not take two, right? No longer using the comp area, which is what I wanted for this section of the song. But in this section, I want to be able to record new things. Does that make sense? It's good that it's switching takes as we record. It's not good that it's changing previous sections of the song. And if you're used to the previous take system, you know, as you record new files uh, in new sections of the song, previous take selections wouldn't change. I'm not saying that this is like a bad thing. I'm just, I want people to be aware of how this is different, what things you need to keep in mind as you're working with this. So it's very simple to get the behavior that we want here. It's no preferences or options. All we need to do is stay in the comping mode as we're recording these new takes. So as we go to the next section, this second area should automatically be filled in with our comp area. And um, next time we record, it's going to make a new lane. And uh, that one should become the active comp. But it, as we're doing it, it's not going to adjust previous sections that we've already marked our favorite takes for. So let's go again. And this time I'll bring the filter up. All right, so there we're seeing in the active comp area, that's number 81, which is this recording, the one we just did. So it is working as expected, and as we recorded new things, previous sections of the song are not changing, which is exactly what we want. The only trick is remembering once we've created a comp, once we've 
pick some things that we want to hear all the time, just stay in this comping mode. Yeah, that will work. So we can come out of fixed item lane mode like that. And those the active lane or what we hear is that comping lane and come back into fixed item lanes. And yeah, so comp lane one is active. So just to say that one more time, when you're adding to new sections of the song, and you've already done a comp, it's normal for the, the take, uh, each take to become the active take. But if you do that without comping turned on by just double clicking, having an active comp area, then you will lose your favorite takes or your comp after each pass. So you'll have to go back and, and readjust things. Just keep it in comping mode, even though you're recording, even though comping is kind of like an editing function, to get that behavior of auto-switching takes, auto-selecting the last one as your active comp area, that's what you need to do. Hopefully that helps.